In this lesson, we're going to be discussing Civil 3D objects and ribbons. Now, in previous videos, I had talked about Civil 3D objects and Civil 3D object styles, but I wanted to give you some context as to how these objects work. Currently, I'm in the Pipe Networks 3C drawing, which is located in your Tutorials folder. Now, if we zoom in a little bit into this drawing, we can see that we have a lot of different things going on here. If we select these contours under properties, we see that we have a tin surface. Now a tin surface is a civil 3D object. I'm going to escape out of this selection. And what I'd like to draw your attention to is currently I'm on the home tab. If I select my surface once more, you'll see that I get this contextual menu. And you can see that up at the top here in blue it says tin surface EG or tin surface existing grade. Anytime you select a civil 3D object, up in your menu you're going to get a contextual ribbon. And this ribbon shows all the different options for that particular civil 3D object. So as you can see for a surface we have a modify tab for editing our surface. We have a lot of other options available to us, but I'm just going to escape to deselect my surface and I'm going to zoom in a bit here and I'm going to select this object right here and under properties it says corridor and as you can see we get another contextual ribbon for that corridor and we have a whole bunch of different options available to us for corridors. I'm going to escape to deselect and then I'm going to select this red line which is known as an alignment and it has a style and a name assigned to it. Deselect the alignment now select this double line and you can see that we get another contextual ribbon for our pipe networks. Under properties you can see that we selected a pipe and it gives us a whole bunch of different options right here. So when you're dealing with civil 3D objects every time you select a civil 3D object you're gonna get a contextual civil 3D object ribbon. Lastly when you're dealing with civil 3D objects there's also a component called a style that you can assign to a particular object in order to get a different look. So if you wanted to assign a different style to say our pipe network we can go ahead and select our pipe network and under properties instead of standard which is our current style we can select this select this drop down menu and select dotted and as you can see our style changes the look of our pipe network. So these are just some of the different options when it comes to dealing with civil 3D objects. You have civil 3D objects such as a surface or a pipe network or an alignment and anytime you select one of these objects you get a contextual menu. You also have the option of being able to change the look of the object by using a style. 